Okay, so let's go to the next story. The next story is, so we all have, and I say we, because everybody around usually has a nine to five job. And nine to five jobs are good if you like your job. Well, writing for television series is getting a little more interesting lately because the WGA is now um, in, in discussions with their writers. And so this comes from Variety. And it basically talks about the compensation battle is heightened because of inflation. So just like us, they're, they're battling inflation. The conversation about a new WGA contract is centered on the streaming economy and how writers can make their make their way in a world shorter of shorter television series and slacken de demands for shows. But settling industry trends aside, there's another major factor that's putting the squeeze on writers, inflation. The WGA, so the WGA guys is the Writers Guild of America. So just remember that when, when I'm talking or I'm reading about the WGA, it's the Writers Guild of America. Okay. The WGA last updated its contract minimums in 2020, just before the inflation soared to its highest level in 40 years. The contract provided annual increases in weekly minimums of 1.5%, 2.5%, and 2.25%. Not really a lot. When inflation climbed as high as 9.1% in 2022 and stuck at 6 currently, those norm nominal increases have turned out to be uh, represent sharp cuts in, in terms of buying power. So the WGA has already indicated it is seeking well before, well above the standard 2 to 3% annual increase. This should come as no surprise. Unions across the board are negotiating first-year wages in the order of 5 to 7%, the highest in decades. So this is where it gets a little, I'm going to give you a couple numbers here and you just bear with me. The current guild minimum for a television writer slash producer is $7,412 a week. Now that's before taxes. Keep that in mind. Okay. Now you say, well, that's still a lot of money. It is, but keep that in mind. On a network show, the median writer producer works between 35 to 40 hours a week for a, a total between 259,000 to 296,000. And that's if the writer is getting paid minimum which is still quite a bit. I mean, if you look at it like this, that's top 1%. Okay. Good to know. Thank you, Colin. And it's nice to meet you. Um, so um, that's still a lot of money. I mean, that's like top 2%, top 1, 2% 2 in the, in the country. Okay. <laughs> I mean, doctors. Okay. So most experienced writers can negotiate something above that, though, through their agents. And for showrunners and executive producers, it's well above that. Um, schedules are shorter on streaming services, which produce fewer episodes, according to data released earlier this month by the Guild. The minimum writer-producer on these shows works between 20 to 24 hours, 20 to 24 weeks for a minimum salary of 100. 48,000 to 177,000. So I'm not going to go into all the numbers and bore you with it. But here's what I have to say. This is something that writing for a television show is very difficult. Okay. Because you're always trying to put out content. And usually in this writer's rooms, okay, it's not just one person. Okay. Um, even guys like John Favreau. Okay. Who, by the way, I mean, they, they, and Dave Filoni and him have already written the fourth season of um, The Mandalorian, but he's also a showrunner. So, I mean, there's a lot of other things to consider. So, that being said, when you have bare minimum, just starting out, entry level, walking in the door, it's a big deal. And I understand exactly what, what they want. And so, it sounds like a lot of money to you and me, um, but you know when you had when you had inflation at nine percent, it's like what, really? Yeah. So I would say this: I hope they get this done. I think they can get this done. Um, 
it's going to depend a lot on how much of an increase they want. Okay. Um, so like I said, I wasn't going to bore you with the rest of the numbers, but they are feeling the squeeze to give them more money. And I hope that they oblige them because if they were just play this out for a minute, if yeah, to, to your point already, Colin. Yeah. So the, the last one was, you know, a few years ago and that could, you know, this could really damper a lot of shows, whether they're streaming or whether they are television network. Okay. So it would be interesting to see what would happen. Now we don't want to strike. Okay. We don't want to strike. That's what's number one. I hope that they're able to come to some sort of um, negotiation and to take care of that and pay these people their, their just amount of money. So what do you guys think though? Do you think the writers should get a raise or do you think that the, uh, the union should say, you know what, you guys are making enough money as it is. You're, you're already in the one or top, top 2% of the industry. Leave me your thoughts down in the comments and I'm going to get back to everybody.